Article 35, again, is a lengthy article. I would entertain a motion to waive the reading of Article 35 in its entirety due to its length. Moved by Ms. Barnes, seconded by uh, Mr. Waddell. Um, all those in favor of waiving the reading? Uh, photo cards up. Thank you. Any opposed? Uh, we will waive the reading of Article 35. I'll take a motion to open discussion on Article 35. Mr. Waddell, do I have a second? Seconded by Ms. Barnes. Who would like to begin discussion on Article 35? Mr. Moderator. Mr. Welch. Mr. Moderator, this is the, as I understand it, the last article that you will see on the acceptance of streets. As you know, in several previous town meetings, we've gone through lists of streets that need to be accepted uh, because the statutes were so arranged as to require that at an annual town meeting. These streets were never officially accepted by the town in accordance with prior statute. Uh, this is the last group that you will be looking at. The statutes have been amended to allow the selectmen after planning board approval to accept streets as public highways. But this brings all of our streets into compliance with the current laws of the state of New Hampshire and gives us the ability to control those roads without question. That's the only purpose of this, and it also cleans up our individual property records in the town. Thank you, Mr. Welch. Thank you, Mr. Welch. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 35? Mr. Rice. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Uh, I'd just like to say that I'm very pleased to finally see this, uh, this item resolved. It started some 18 years ago with a list that I composed for the Board of Selectmen, uh, listing all of the uh, roads that we didn't have control over had not been accepted yet. There have been skirmishes and battles and wars over whether we could or would, could or couldn't, should or shouldn't uh, accept these, and finally we are there. Uh, now we own all of our roads, and I'm very happy to see this happen, and I support it very strongly. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Ms. Wolsey. Yes. Is it now possible, and I know this has been going on for a long time, is it now possible to delineate a list of the private roads, a separate list of the private roads that exist in Hampton? Now that we've finished this process with this coming town meeting in March, it will be possible to do that with accuracy. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Ms. Lussard. Equal Sard 173 Mill Road. Where is Norman's Rest? I've worked on and driven down many roads in Hampton, and I would like to know where that is. Mr. Welch, do you have an answer for Mr. Lassard? Off the top of my head, no, but I can find it. Okay, that. thank I you. I have all the material here that I could read through and find it. Uh, it's one of the uh, original subdivisions down off of, I believe, it's High Street. It's either High Street or, or uh, the end of Winnicott Road. It's one of the original subdivisions and developments down there that were put into effect in the early 1900s. Uh, if I were to drive it, what would I be? What would it be called? That's well. It certainly wouldn't be called that today. But I can't tell you off the top of my head. That, that's the name of the old subdivision. Right. So is it Viking Street Viking and Thorwall? Viking and Thorwall. Viking and Thorwall. Viking and Thorwall. Surfside. Does it say that? It well, does. It has, it has it in there. It's Never in there. <laughs> All right. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 35? Right. Okay. Seeing none, yeah, Article sure, sure. 35 will appear on the ballot as printed. Article 35.